Hi everyone, I'm Ronelle Daigle. Um, hi Dennis, um, I wanted to thank you and I, uh, I wanted to thank uh, Dr. Ellesmere for giving us the opportunity to uh, make a, a short video uh, to, to have the opportunity to thank you. Um, uh, I'm, a, I'm a graduate from Dalhousie um, from the general surgery program in 2013 and I uh, am so grateful to have had the opportunity to train there and Dr. Klassen was the program director when I started residency there so I owe him a huge thank you for giving me the opportunity to train um, uh, in general surgery uh, in Halifax because I know he had a huge um, part in giving me that opportunity. Um, as many trainees know, uh, where you've done your training uh, hugely shapes uh, what type of career you're going to uh, have. And um, I, uh, at the time, would have never imagined uh, where I, I would have been uh, seven years later. So I owe um, lots of people a huge thank you. But Dr. Klassen is um, definitely uh, a huge part of that. Um, when I think of Dr. Klassen, I, I have many fond memories uh, of my training with him, um, but one of the two things that um, uh, has stuck in my mind is um, uh, t still to this day when I do incisional hernia repairs and um, uh, he used to use this famous quote when rolling the mesh to put it inside the uh, the patient's abdomen uh, he always looked around the room to see if there was anyone from BC who may have very good skills at um, at uh, rolling the mesh to put it inside and and um, uh, I still use that quote a lot um, one of the biggest uh, uh, inspiring traits of Dr. Klassen is his huge, tremendous amounts of um, of patience. And um, uh, I still, to this day, when doing very long and difficult case, uh, uh, I still think of Dr. Klassen's uh, calm demeanor and uh, a huge amount of patience uh, that he showed everyone around him. And if I could ever uh, reach about half of that amount of uh, calm demeanor and patience, uh, I'll feel that I've been successful. Um, so again, I really wanted to thank you, Dr. Klassen, for um, the huge impact that you've had on my training and on my current career as well. And uh, I know that you're going through a very difficult time and challenges uh, in your life at this point. And I want to let you know that uh, my thoughts are with you. And I thank you again. And I wish you all the best.